hello guys welcome to another video on wp blogger in today's video we are going to learn how to enable google xml sitemaps on our wordpress blog sitemaps is a tool that web crawlers use to index our content to find our content easily so they are very they are highly recommended for seo purposes you need to have sml sitemap on your google website on your wordpress website in today's video we are going to learn how to enable or how to activate sml sitemap on our wordpress site in order to rank higher on Google, in order to help Google index our blog content quickly. Before I get started into today's video, if you are new to this channel, subscribe. Click on that subscribe button. Enable the notification bell to receive alerts anytime I release one of my awesome videos smash the like button don't forget to give me that thumbs up it means a whole lot to me if you have any other questions suggestions or feedback leave them in the comment box below i do well to respond to all comments on this channel now as a wordpress user as a wordpress blogger as a wordpress beginner the recommended hosting is bluehost that is what i use on all my money websites is bluehost i have a discount link below this video click on it it will bring you to this home page of bluehost just click on get started to select any package you want we have the 12 months we have the 36 months we also have the 24 months and just select any of these packages to get started with bluehost if you want the best customers support for your wordpress hosting and you want peace of mind to focus on your blogging journey and you don't need to worry about all the technical stuff when it comes to wordpress hosting bluehost is my recommended hosting platform for all viewers on this channel now let's get started into today's video we are going to learn how to activate SML sitemap on our WordPress website. Inside your dashboard, this is what you do. Come to the plugins section and click on add new. And we are going to search for SML sitemaps. This is the plugin I'm talking about, SML Sitemap by Octulu. I hope I got the name correct. Let's click on install and configure the settings. And I'll click on activate here. Our plugin has been activated successfully. It's time to go into the settings. So come over to the left hand side of your admin dashboard, hover on settings. You'll see the menu of XML sitemap here. Click on it. So once we've clicked on it, this is the settings page. So notify Google about updates of your site. Yes. So let's check it or let's check it. Bing search engine. Yes. Let's enable it and let's um, allow sitemap to add our sitemap URL to our virtual robots.txt file. Let's enable it. Also, Enable try to automatically compress the sitemap if the requesting client supports it. Let's take it. Leave these as default. Just leave them as, as they are. And also 
include sitemap in html format let's check it so if it's unchecked check this option also now additional pages we can skip it post priority do not use automatic priority calculations comment count and comment average when you create a new blog post and you are enabling sitemaps you you won't be having any comment on your post so i always recommend to select do not use automatic priority calculation so let's select this option when we come to the sitemap content we have WordPress standard content here, include home page, include post, include static pages. Do you want to also include your categories, your tag pages, those that you want to include, just select them. Those that you don't want to include, leave them out. I will include my category and my author pages here include the last modification type yes it will help the crawlers understand that your post has been modified so also let's check this option do you have any categories you want to exclude you can do that here for example i will exclude the uncategorized here let's come to the change frequencies how long do you update these sessions? That is your home page, your post, your static pages, your categories. Depending on the change frequencies, the Google crawlers would be visiting your pages, these pages, as and when it is required. So for example, does your home page change frequently? Are you updating your blog with new content every day if yes it means your home page will also be changing on a daily basis so we select daily you can click here and make it always hourly or daily so home page is always when it comes to our post we are doing post on a daily basis so let's select daily basis for our post but if you want the crawlers to always be quick on your blog, I always select always or hourly. Go for one of them, always or hourly. So we can also go for always here. For our static pages, for example, the contact us about us and our privacy pages, we don't really change them that often or we don't create new static pages often so we can leave it at weekly or even monthly or yearly for our categories as long as we are updating our posts it also affects categories so i will make categories daily archive can also be left as daily here older archives we can leave them for tag pages, I also select daily, and for the author pages, I also select daily. Now let's go to priorities. Priorities shows how important a page is to us, and it's over one over one. That is hundred percent. So when it comes to priorities, our home page is very important. So we select one point zero. For post, I also go for 1.0 and for minimum, I go for 0 0.9, that is 9 over 10 here. For static pages, I tend to leave the rest as they are, but categories are also important, so I can select 0 0.8 and for tag pages, 0 0.7, then I will now click on update. So, we've gone through the settings on how to set up our sml site map let's click on settings here update options we have successfully finished updating so now let's check the our site map here 
let's open it in a new tab let's open it in a new tab automatically search engines are supposed to be notified anytime we make any new changes on our site especially our blog content but you can also come to your google sml site map options here and click on notify search engines so that your so that search engines will be um, notified automatically so let me just click here to notify search engines about our blog results of the last thing yes google has been notified and bing has also been notified now let's check our site map and this is what we have here so we have for posts we have for pages we have for the authors so once google crawlers come onto our site they'll go into these links and also crawl or index any links that they find let me click on our post sml here and these are the sml links of all the posts we have here and this will make it easier for google to crawl and index our blog content so guys this is the step-by-step -step guide on how to activate and enable xml sitemaps on your wordpress blog i hope you've enjoyed this tutorial smash the like button give me the thumbs up it means a whole lot to me if you have any questions feedback or suggestions leave them in the comment box below please subscribe to this channel if you are new and you've already not subscribed don't forget to enable the notification bell to receive alerts anytime i release one of my awesome videos before i take leave of you i have prepared some resources wordpress resources for beginners check the description box below this video for the wordpress resources these resources are meant to help you move from a beginner to an expert in wordpress blogging so make sure you check out those resources in the video description box below this video until i come your way with another awesome video it's bye bye from WP Blogger.